Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hello. Today's program is called It'll Make a Man of You. Dera todo un hombre. That's rather sexist, isn't it? I know. But you see, the topic is education. We're going to look at some of the differences between state schools and public schools. Colegios públicos y colegios privados. In Britain, public schools are in fact private schools. Some of them are very expensive. Public schools used to be boarding schools, internados, for boys only. Ah, and the purpose of traditional public schools is to make a man of you. That's right. Usually in state schools there are boys and girls, and they only go there in the daytime. Every afternoon they go home. Today you will watch the story of Jilly's son, Paul, who is a student at Stanford Comprehensive School. El Instituto de Stanford. He's not doing very well, so his mother wants to send him to Selby College. While you watch, find the main characteristics of a public school like Selby College. Well, I think all children should have the same opportunities in education. Yes, but that's not always possible. Well, we had a lot of trouble with Paul's education. He never did any work at school, and the teachers were too busy to do anything about it. Things were just getting worse and worse. Paul, have you done your homework? Yeah. Can I see it, please? I haven't done it yet, Mum. I just want to finish this game. You've been playing on that computer all evening. I told you to do your homework first. Do it now. In a minute. Right. There aren't many children who get an opportunity like this. I don't want to leave home, Mum. I don't want you to leave home either. But I do want you to do well at school. Things have got to change. To start with, you watch TV and play on that computer all day long. That's no good. Then you never do your homework. Then every day we have a fight about your homework. So, I've had enough. You need some proper discipline. At Stanford, there are 35 children in a class. One teacher can't keep an eye on 35 children properly. At Selby College, there are 15 in a class. Yeah, but they're all boys, Mum. I don't want to leave Stanford Comprehensive. It's where all my friends are. You mean it's where Susan Smith is? Yeah. You shouldn't be thinking about girls all the time. But Selby College is a hundred miles away from home. Don't worry, we'll soon be there. I want to stay in day school. I don't want to go to boarding school. I won't know anyone there. You'll soon make friends. It's like going to prison. Paul, public school is a privilege. It's not a prison. They're really strict there. Yes, good. At Selby College, discipline is important. Why do you want to get rid of me? I don't want to get rid of you, Paul. I just want the best for you. When it comes to getting a job, you'll need good qualifications. You'll thank me when you're older. But my results at school aren't that bad. They're not that good either. At Selby College, you'll learn much more than just history, English and maths. You'll learn about discipline and manners.
Look at it. It's magnificent. Selby College is based on old traditions. Yeah, like cold showers and bullying and caning. It's against the law to cane these days. Now, I want you to be very polite to the headmaster. Paul was very quiet as the headmaster showed us around the school. Jilly, I'm surprised at you. How could you send your own son away? I went to boarding school. It was good for me. Hmm. It was great fun in the dormitory. We had pillow fights most nights. Yes, but it was a very strict school, wasn't it? You told me that the teachers used to beat you if you did anything wrong. Yes, but... I suppose it made a man of you. Yes, I suppose it did, really. It wasn't easy for me, but I had to do something with Paul. Anyway, the headmaster showed us around. Paul is very worried, isn't he? Yes, and I can understand why. But I can also understand why Jilly wants him to change schools. Let's have a look at the main characteristics of a public school, like Selby College. Firstly, they talked about the number of children in each class. At Stanford, there are 35 children in a class. One teacher can't keep an eye on 35 children properly. At Selby College, there are 15 in a class. So classes are much smaller at Selby College. And the second characteristic? Yeah, but they're all boys, Mum. They're all boys. Selby College is a single-sex school. Boys only. A single-sex school. Jilly thought this was a good thing. You shouldn't be thinking about girls all the time. The next characteristic was the college's distance from home. But... Selby College is a hundred miles away from home. Which means that he'll have to live there and sleep there. What do we call a school like that? I want to stay in day school. I don't want to go to boarding school. Boarding school. He doesn't want to go to boarding school. He wants to stay in day school. Selby College is a boarding school. But the most important characteristic for Jilly was this. At Selby College, you'll learn much more than just history, English and maths. you learn about discipline and manners. Discipline and manners. Disciplina y buenos modales. Paul didn't agree with her. They're really strict there. They're really strict there. Estrictos. Jilly likes the old traditions. Look at it. It's magnificent. Selby College is based on old traditions. But Paul is thinking about some of the other traditions of public schools. Yeah, like cold showers and bullying and caning. Cold showers, duchas frías, bullying, las gamberradas y perrerías que hacen los alumnos más fuertes a los más débiles, and caning, azotes con una vara. Let's go back to the story and find out what happened to Paul. Anyway, the headmaster showed us around. And these are our playing fields where many a victory has been won. Will Paul get enough exercise? Ah, Mrs. Partridge, we at Selby College pride ourselves on our exercise regime. Every morning at half past six, the boys go for a good run. Are you good at rugby, um, Paul? No. Ah. What about cricket? No. It's boring. Ah. Oh dear. Sport is very important here at Selby College. Any good at rowing? <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. Partridge. We'll make a man of him. 
What do you want to do when you leave school, Paul? I want to earn money. We like our boys to go to a good university. Have you done any Latin? Audi, vide, take? What? Audi, listen, vide, look, take, be quiet. Have you studied the Latin language at all? I, I don't think so. Hmm. <laughs> don't worry, Mrs. Partridge. It's just a matter of discipline. We'll take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> I promise, I promise. If you ask me to do my homework, I'll do it. If you tell me not to watch TV, I'll turn it off. I'll go to bed at nine o'clock. I promise. Really? Yes, I'll do anything. Anything, Paul? Will you make your bed in the morning? Yes, I promise. Will you keep your room tidy? I'll do anything. Please don't send me to Selby College. Do you promise? Yes, Mum. Yes. Then I shall ring up the headmaster and tell him I've changed my mind. It worked very well. Paul's school report this term was excellent. But how could you possibly have afforded to send Paul to Selby College? I could never afford to send him there. But, luckily, Paul never thought of that. So, lucky Paul. He didn't have to go to boarding school. Now, let's look at something that Jilly said to Paul. I told you to do your homework first. I told you to do your homework. Jilly is reporting what she told Paul to do. Jilly está describiendo lo que le dijo a Paul que hiciera. Fíjate en el orden de las palabras. Primero, el verbo de la oración principal, I told. Luego, el complemento indirecto, you. Y a continuación, el infinitivo del verbo con to, to do. I told you to do your homework. Ese es el orden que se usa para describir lo que alguien te ordenó o pidió que hicieras. Vanessa, please stand up. Now, Vanessa, what did I say? You told me to stand up. Verb, told. Object, me. Infinitive, to stand up. OK, Tony. Please pass me your pen. What did I ask you to do? You asked me to pass you my pen. Uh, but that's all for today. 